place there is the thunder part. There was a person whose parts were loud as thunder. He was ashamed of his parts. So he would hold back his parts and part all at once on rainy day. Harvest was just a few weeks away because of good farming. A harmful bird flew in from somewhere and started stealing and eating rice. When the rice that everyone worked hard on was gone one by one, the chief became worried. Even if I could scare her, the bird won't be scared what I should do. The chip was worried so much that she got wrinkles, but she couldn't think of a good way. At that time, the sky was clear and suddenly she could hear the thunder. The chip was startled and hurried toward the sound. Chip, I'm sorry. No. I'm surprised. I'm sure you're surprised that my parts are as loud as thunder. Last time, I never heard of it. Until now, I secretly parted on playing games. What's the matter, Chip? I won't keep out the bird here. Don't run away. Even if see the scarecrow, you your part. Can you help me? So, the Chip and the Gassy went to the rice field and waited for the bird to come and partied. Then, the bird was so surprised no. that it dropped the rice and ran away. From now on, you can part without hiding it. You save our time. That's how the man protected of the villagers and now he parted freely even when the sun loves. Those of you who hear this story might have hiding things because you think it's ashamed. However, things that you feel ashamed of can be of great help to someone. Today's story is there is thing. There used to be an old woman living in a mountain. She was around, but she wasn't lonely. Then one night, a goblin appeared in front of the old woman's house. The goblin is very playful, so he wanted to make friends with the old woman and give her trouble. I am a goblin, old woman. Let's be friends. This is a gift for you. Old woman was so scared of goblin, but she couldn't show her fear. <laughs> yes, let's be friends. I'd appreciate if you could come over sometimes when you're free. But the goblin came to see her the next night, and. He asked her a naughty question no. to play a prank on her. Old woman, I am most afraid of. Thing that scare me the most in the world is red. Tell me yours too. Old woman didn't answer the question right away and thought deeply. Then, she thought of a way to benefit herself, not seeing the goblin again. Oh yeah, who's a of money in the world? That's why I have a village. 
The next night, the goblin was going to old woman's house with a big pocket of money. But why is this? Her house was painted all over with red paint. The goblin was surprised and angry and drew money pocket in front of old woman's house and ran away. Is it painted? Thanks to the money the goblin gave her, she became rich and lived comfortably. Those of you who hear this story have some difficult moment in your life. Then, if you think about it slowly, like old woman, you will find the answer that helps you the most. Today's story is Bart Flight. Once upon a time, there lived a mother and son in a mountain. They picked up fruit and sold it to the village. But son parted so hard that even though he was old enough to get married, he couldn't get married. So, mom was always worried about her son. Son! You stop eating! Woman who come to see you run away because of your part! Mom, I don't want to part. But I can help it. But... I will keep trying. Then one day, they went out to pick fruits as usual, and it was exceptionally windy. It's especially windy today, so it's dangerous. Soon, watch your head. By the way, what is this? A huge apple pair on mom's head. What's going on? I need to get some medicine soon. But this is too far from town. Son was in a hurry to get some medicines. But he had too many mountains to climb. There are so many mountains. What should I do? Mommy, we are going to die at this rate. Yes, I have a heart that was stronger than anyone else. So, the sun started to flew from one peak to the other using parts. Boom, boom. It's working very well. At this rate, I can save my mom. Son arrived at pharmacy quickly and bought some medicines for his mom. Pharmacist, I don't need the changes. Thank you. So, the sun flew over the pigs again and treated his mother. The mom was healthy again, and the mom and son were happy again too. Those of you who hear this story have some shortcomings that others might not like. But with that shortcoming, you will be able to help others greatly someday. Today's story is Donkey Ears. Once upon a time, there lived a queen in a country. One day, the queen's ears grew like a donkey. The queen was so surprised that she hit her ears with hat. So no one knew that the queen's ears got longer. But the queen had to make a new crown because she is queen. I have to make a crown, but I am so worried that everyone will know that my ears. I need a reliable blacksmith to make a crown and tell him not to tell everyone about my ears. So the queen secretly called her beloved blacksmith to make a crown. She told him not to tell anyone about her ears. The blacksmith 
completely a high crown for the queen with big ears. Queen, here's the crown. I made it high for you. Thank you, bless me. I'll give you a reward for making a high crown for me. But you didn't tell anyone the secret, did you? Please be quiet right now. It's been a lot of time. The blacksmith, who couldn't even tell his wife a secret, had a hard time. <laughs> I'm going to get sick at this rate. I'm going to confide in a pen place with no one. The blacksmith shouted in the pen priest, The queen is donkey ears. But whenever the wind blew, there was a sound. The queen has donkey ears. The queen was ashamed to hear the news, but when everyone knew, she took out her ears. My ears are so big that I can hear the people. Well, tell me all the hard things. That's how the queen overcame her shyness and became a wonderful queen who received a lot of love. Those of you who hear this story have a weakness that you want to hide from everyone like the queen. However, you can be loved by everyone if you admit your shortcomings and put it up honestly.